there is no room for mistake. People's lives are on the line. One more kid gets killed on a frack is too many, especially when we have the ability to try and fix this. We've tested this fiber in every category. Uh, it's outperforming the competitors. I happen to be doing this for 42 years. Last 10 years, safety obviously in the oil patch has become massive. You could either resist it or embrace it. If you're looking at trying to contain a catastrophic separation as much as possible with any high pressure flow line, there's a couple of different measures we can use. You can look at whip checks, synthetic restraints. There's still some cable restraints out there. Even with synthetics, there's different options of polyester, nylon, HMPE. The old way is outdated. Basically, you want to look for a very practical solution. And practical could mean a lot of things depending on climate. HMPE fiber is still relatively new. We've tested this fiber against polyester, against nylon, against other synthetic fibers. In every category, uh, it's outperforming the competitors. In the climate it's used, especially in the winter, like right now it's, it's minus eight degrees outside. It's very challenging to work with different synthetic fibers because they will freeze up. So up in the Great White North and especially in, in the Rockies throughout America, uh, this fiber has a very low moisture content. So it doesn't absorb the water. It will still remain pliable. It's, it's flexible still in, in sub-zero climates. If you leave a round sling out after moisture, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be, just broke the barbecue. That's how tough this stuff is. There's no way you are gonna be able to install this accurately around the iron. In different climates, different products are gonna have different benefits. Up here in Canada, and when we see weather like, like it is today, it's definitely gonna be more beneficial to use a product you can still handle. I think there's quite a few positives for this HMP rope. I think another one is storage. We're talking about half the physical weight, fuel, trucks, equipment, men, huge, cuts into your bottom line. This product helps you make some money. The installation, lighter, faster, quicker. We've come up with that saying I've said before, I think we manufactured a better mouse strap all the way around. The bottom line is, is when there's a catastrophic break, this product has to restrain the iron. There's so many variables in there. We have metal versus synthetic. It's basically a bomb that's going off. The synthetic is probably gonna lose every time. With our team of engineers and hundreds of thousands of dollars that we put into this, to the best of our ability, I don't think there's anything else that we need to do. You know, we've gone over and over and over this stuff to make it as safe as we can. That being said, there's not one man in the industry could say that every explosion or catastrophic break is going to be just like the last one because we could have a jet stream out of the pipe we could have it break in a certain way that there's a sharp edge and before it even had a chance to do its job the synthetic fiber lost over the iron so to sit here and say yes every time our synthetic whip check is going to come out look like brand new that's never going to happen and either is any of our competitions definitely not a game it is a very dangerous situation if there was a catastrophic failure it has killed people in the past we're trying to eliminate that from ever happening in the future the purpose of this is to absolutely absorb as much of that energy as possible we have a patent on it now. We're very proud of that. We have a U.S. and Canadian patent. This is my first patent in 42 years of being in the rigging business. My God, there is a ton of work to be done there. And you do not get this without having it 100% has to pass every strict regulation there is. And we have, we have passed that. And we have that in our hot little hand and very proud to have it. We've been doing this a long time. We're damn good at it. People's lives are on the, on the line. There is no room for mistake. One more kid gets killed on a frack is too many. This, especially when we have the ability to try and fix this. So we're not trying to get famous out there. We're just trying to do our jobs and, and show that we are the kind of company that has integrity, a little bit of backbone, and will stand up to whatever comes our way.